Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm showcasing to you the fastest duplication in GTA 5 online right now. You can do this now with the custom plates, as now everyone can get custom plates in GTA 5 online. I'll go step by step in today's video explaining exactly how to do this. If you do not know how to get custom plates, make sure to check out my previous video I uploaded on how to get custom plates. I have recently uploaded it. Be sure to follow that step by step. And then you can then go and do this. This is by far the best one out right now. You can duplicate so many vehicles in a matter of minutes. Hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, do be sure to like and subscribe. Road to 14,000 subscribers. Make sure you enter into the giveaway by commenting something. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is hop on to your FCR 1000. You need to make sure your garage is filled with free cars you do not mind losing and a car you're willing to duplicate and an FCR 1000. Once you're on top of your FCR 1000, press right on the D-pad to upgrade it. Then let's select the option to upgrade it to Benny's. And then until you get the option to confirm, wait on that for about a second. And then confirm it. And then about half a second later, you want to either press the PlayStation or Xbox home button or hold it down. Some people have found that holding it down, it proves a higher chance of you hitting it. However, I just press it for it to work. So I simply press the Xbox button. Then I then go back into the game and you should see on the left side, the bike should have the option to upgrade it still. However, the bike should then have changed the upgraded version. If the bike has a bunch of options on the left to upgrade it, so respray and all that stuff, then you have not done it correctly and you need to restart the game to get your money back. Also, sometimes the game flashes and it makes it seem like the bike has been upgraded. But when you go back into the game, it has not. So make sure the bike headlights has changed. The bike's headlights have not changed. You do not want to do the next part that I'm about to explain. You want to continuously do this over and over again. Also, if you press the PS or Xbox home button too late and the options on the left have appeared, sometimes when you restart your game, your money doesn't appear back into your account. However, if you did press the PS or Xbox button too early and the money did get taken out of your account and the bike has not been upgraded and the option on the left is still there, you can then restart your account to get the money back. Hopefully that makes sense. If you do have any questions, do be sure to ask in the comment section as it can get a bit confusing. However, if it's exactly how it looks on my screen, with the bike being upgraded, with the option on the left, upgrade it still, you want to then just spam X to upgrade the bike, or spam A, whatever console you're on. Once you see, once you spam X, you'll spawn on foot. What you want to then do is make your foot over to the blue loading circle, and switch a car you're duplicating with a car you don't mind losing. Then go over to the car you're duplicating and switch something on it. When you go back to the blue loading circle, you'll see the car names have now changed, and you've now duplicated a vehicle. In game, the car will not have been duplicated, however on the menu it will show it has been. You can keep doing this over and over again by switching the car you're duplicating, the car you're not been losing over and over again, and just changing something on the car that you're duplicating each time. I forgot to add, if you're on next gen, I recommend putting it into fidelity mode, I think that's what you call it. And if you're on PC, put it on the lowest frame rate you can do, so maybe like 30 FPS or something around there, as it makes it so the timing is so much easier to hit as the game is rendering a lot slower. So if your game is playing at a slower rate, I find the timing is so much easier to hit with the bike part. So that is just an extra tip I can give you if you're struggling to hit that bike part. When you're switching the cars around in the menu, make sure you always select the original copy ISSI and switch that with a car you do not mind losing. As if you select just a normal future stock ISSI or whatever car you're duplicating in the menu and it shows is the duplicated ISSI and you try to switch that with a car you don't mind losing, it will not switch. So make sure you depress the original copy and switch that of a car you do not mind losing in order for it to duplicate. Once you've duplicated all the vehicles that you want, you can then just find a new session. Once you load into a new session, you'll see all your vehicles are now there and it's all a duplicated version. Make sure that you do use custom plates as they are now extremely easy to get your hands on them without costing anything in game. So make sure you do do that as if you sell dirty dupes they will sell for a depreciated price each time you sell them and it's just not good for your account as you'll instantly hit the daily sell limit each time you try to sell one. So make sure you do check out my previous video on how to get custom plates so you can do this over and over again with ease. 
Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, do be sure to like and subscribe. We are on the road to 14,000 subscribers. Make sure you do enter into the giveaway by winning a modded account. Once I hit the next milestone, which is 14,000, I'll be giving away another modded account like I did the 13,000. So make sure you do enter into that by commenting something. It's Cos Logo, and I'm out. Peace. Ripping and dipping it. All I've been getting is cream, so I'm whipping it. Counting up commas, I think that I'm getting it. Thought I'd be broke, but I guess I'm the opposite. Jumping this bitch, going straight to the top and shit.